after uh, the other day in LA, what did you guys pinpoint as things to work on today? Uh, everything defensively again, and uh, uh, just uh, reiterating that uh, you know, just gotta stay aggressive on the offensive end on the floor when you have opportunities. Um, so, especially when you're playing a veteran team like that, you know, they're gonna swipe, foul, they don't get the benefit of the whistle. So, we just gotta do a better job of just staying strong with the ball, um, playing through contact. Um, and it's their home floor, so we're on the road, so our back is against the wall from the start of the game. So we just got to go out there and make sure we stay aggressive and patient and see how they're playing us. I don't know how much, if, if at all, you've gotten to look at Houston, but uh, what do you think of them so far? That they're scrappy, team? man. They're scrappy. They play hard. They play aggressive. Um, playing defense. Um, you know, most importantly, I feel like they, they have an identity now. Um, um, new, new coaching staff, uh, and, uh, veterans that can help the young guys, help Green out. Uh, Sagoon's out there playing unbelievable basketball right now. And uh, we, we know what we got coming in into our building tomorrow, so we got to be prepared. How would you assess where this team is 15, 16 games into the season, especially with some of the change of pace of play for you guys? It's, it's good. We could be better. Uh, we, and we know that as a ball club. There's some wins that we like to get away from us. Uh, some uh, situations that we just got to do better at as a team uh, on the floor, uh, knowing personnel, knowing our schemes, staying, staying patient with the, with the game plan, and, and uh, just making sure that um, we let the game come to us. Do you feel like in any respect you guys kind of lost sight of the, the pace the other night, or was that more of a product of uh, you got to get stops to, to have some pace probably and what the Clippers were doing? Well, I think it was the turkey. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. They, no, they did a, no, they did a great job of um, um, their game plan, sticking to their schemes. I mean, we got them good at, at our place, you know, a couple weeks ago. So it was only a matter of time. You know, they they were looking at their chops, getting ready for us to come to their to their home court and uh, trying to get payback. So. You know, uh, you know, you gotta give them credit. You know, they 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 did what they had to do. They took care of business. You guys are almost done with it, but your impressions of the in-season tournament and whether it's a thing now or should be a thing. I mean, you're getting competitive basketball right now. Fans are getting competitive basketball. I know a lot of the guys are on our team, and I'm pretty sure across the league are definitely tuning in and seeing point spread, seeing wins and losses, seeing what they have to do in order to get get wins and and uh, so on and so forth. So, I mean, I, I think it's great. I think it's uh, it definitely got guys competing at a high level. Um, but we'll see how it goes after. Uh, both, the, <clears throat> both the defenses in L.A., like the Lakers and Clippers, were aggressive with uh, double teams and the offense sort of struggled. I know shopping doesn't do that yeah. well, but uh, was there anything that you could see uh, that maybe uh, to adjust heading into the No, I think uh, for the most part, like you said, I think the shot making definitely plays a part, a part uh, to to get some of the attention off of you know Luca and Kai, uh, and that's on us role players to, to do so. Um, we did a little bit in LA against the Lakers, but we didn't do it against the Clippers. So um, just I just got to do a better job. Of leading our role players, uh, you know, outside of Kai and Luca, uh, leading our guys uh, uh, to make sure we're doing our jobs and making sure that we make it easier for them. Appreciate it. Let's go with Maxi, the easy one. He's out. Uh, lively. I uh, went through practice today. Uh, was good. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. We'll list uh, as questionable. Luca, uh, X rays uh, during the game were negative. MRI performed here. Uh, and Dallas confirmed uh, a left uh, thumb sprain, uh, but he practiced and will be available tomorrow. So that's all the medical I got. Well, good news overall, especially with obviously Luca. Yeah, all good news. All good. How would you assess where this team is 15, 16 games into the season as you prepare for Houston tomorrow? Yeah, uh, well, I think 10 and 6, we're in a good place. Uh, you know, 
We've had a lot of games on the road. Uh, so far, we've, uh, we've played well on the road. Now we got to, you know, pr you know, protect home. Um, we have to play a little bit better at home. Uh, but we've been out on the road here a lot of late, and so uh, hopefully here in the next 10 to 12 days, we're home to uh, protect home court. What's been the biggest difference you've seen with Emay and his group as he's taken over with Houston so far this year? Yeah, you, you look at uh, what Emay, he's a, one of the you know best coaches in this league. Uh, but the one thing he's carried over from Boston is uh, the defense. They're number one in defense, uh, and they get after it. Uh, their team uh, that defends, uh, likes to defend. And then uh, with, uh, with Freddie as their leader, uh, you know, he sets the tone on both ends. What have you seen from the young Houston team so far that, that um, if you had time to see film? Or yeah, they compete. Them? They compete on both ends, offensively. Um, just, you know, understanding uh, they, they can post up, they can shoot the three, they have athletes, they can get out and run. Um, they're not the Houston of, of old. Uh, you know, Ime is, is definitely uh, uh, giving these guys a lot of confidence, but they got guys over there that have uh, been on winning teams, uh, so they've helped these younger guys uh, understand what it means to, to work and, and to, to win. Is it, what's it like, uh, if you can put yourself in that shoe, uh, when a guy, a veteran like Van Fleet, joins a team that is clearly uh, building with youth, uh, yeah, the, the closest I can compare is being in Jersey uh, for myself, taking a young group uh, that only won 13, 14 games and going to the finals. Um, so that, that's, that's as close as I can give a comparison. Um, but it's, it's the coach's uh, philosophy, uh, the way that he got, you know, has guys playing Freddie. Jeff Green, um, guys that have won in the league, uh, helping uh, the younger guys understand what it means to win, and that's that's the only thing I can compare it to is those guys come from winning um, organizations and, and, and understanding what it means, and you can see that. Uh, Seiku is one of the best uh, at the center position. He he's a triple double. Um, you know, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense with scoring and passing. But I, I think it, it's to the to the, the newcomers that they have that have uh, helped the younger players understand what it means to win.